Now, I'll pick a number and you have to tell me where it goes on the number line. Ready? Fire away. See if you can find the 60. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 60 is more than 50 and less than 70. Good. Imagine the number line. See it in your mind. Look along the line until you find the number you seek, not more or less. Check it with its neighbours. Look, don't guess. What if we want to know where a number with tens and units goes? Like a 58, for instance. We use the same method. We use the tens to check where the 50 goes. It's more than 50, but less than 60. Right. And then we count along the units. There. 58. Hmm. Let's see what the children have to say. It's a number line. Look, there are the tens in white. Here we go, the first number is 78. 78 means that it must be more than 70. But less than 80. 70, 71, 72, 70, 80, 79, 78, 77, 78. So with 78, it's quicker to count back from 80 than count on from 70. It's number 63. It will take longer to count back from 70, won't it? 63 is 3 on from 60. 1, 2, 3. That's why he counted on from 60, because the 3 was nearer to 60 than it was to 70. It's number 45. That is nearer 40. That is closer to 50. 45 is halfway between 40 and 50. 5 is half of 10. So, any whole number ending in 5 will always be halfway between the tens numbers, the multiples of 10. The numbers ending in 0? Yes! It's number 47. This is easy. It's a lot more than 40. It's nearer to 50. So, they'll count back from 50, won't they? 47 is 2 more than... 45, so... So that's how we find the place of numbers in the number line. Thanks, everyone. But what about numbers that are more than 100? Good point. Once we get to 100, we begin using three-digit numbers. Think of a three-digit number, any number. 286. It's more than 200. But less than 300. But which is it nearer to? 200 or 300? 286. It's got to be nearer 300. So it's the same method. Of course! These chaps, the ones, are the smallest numbers. They go from 1 to 9. But then you run out of numbers. Ah, oh, don't worry, little fella. You just need some help from the big guys. <clears throat> uh, bring out the tens. Place value helps us work out the value of a digit depending on its place or position in a number. Now let's speed things up and see what happens when we get to 99. We've run out of numbers again, so this time we need the hundreds. Now we've got hundreds, tens and ones all on board, let's jump forward to the thousands which are even bigger again. Then get ready, guys, because next up... It's time to get out of here! <laughs> These chaps, the ones, are the smallest numbers. They go from one to nine, but then you run out of numbers. Ah, oh, don't worry, little fella. We just need some help from the big guys. <clears throat> uh, bring out the tens. <laughs> Place value helps us work out the value of a digit depending on its place or position in a number. Now let's speed things up and see what happens when we get to 99. We've run out of numbers again, so this time we need the hundreds. Now we've got hundreds, tens and ones all on board. 
Let's jump forward. To the thousands, which are even bigger again. Then get ready, guys, because next up... It's time to get out of here! Ah!